Hello everyone, this is Tyler with My Computer Works, and welcome back. We're going to be discussing a comment that we got in the last video. So somebody was asking how to actually remove um, programs or features, or the, they wish they'd seen that in the video. And so we're going to go over that today. So we had gone over adware in the last video and how to recognize if maybe you have adware or something on your computer that you don't want. And so today we're going to talk about how to actually go and check your programs and application list and actually remove something in the event that you have something in the list that you don't want. So first let's get to the list. Um, there's two ways that you can actually do it and two ways that you can view um, the, the, you know, the, these programs and apps on your computer and see what you have and remove what you don't want. So let's talk about how to get to this screen first. So this is the control panel and this is one of the first two areas where you can actually get to um, your applications or programs and see them. So the easiest way to get there is to pull up a run command and so run command is Windows R, put that up on screen there for you to see. And so once you hit Windows key and R, you wanna type into this box control, okay? Once you have control typed in the box, you can just hit on okay, and it's gonna open that uh, control panel window that we were talking about earlier that I was looking at. So that's what this is. Once you're here, you can click into programs. And then once you're inside programs, you can look into programs and features. Now, I think this is the optimal way to check your programs and features on the computer because there's two things going on for you here. One, you can see um, the version date, so you can actually see what ver version it is or um, the date that you installed it on, right? And so, it's gonna if you go online and you're wondering if maybe one of your programs or features is out of um, date or one of, one of the apps on your computer is out of date, you just check that version number and go online and see if it matches what's uh, new and up to date. So now I'm going to show you how to remove something out of here. So I'm going to use OBS Studio as an example. Great program back when I used it, but now I'm using a different one, so I don't use it as much anymore. So I'm going to take it off my computer so it's not uh, eating up space. Um, and I'm going to remove everything that's associated with that app because, I, like I said, I no longer use it. It's going to go through the uninstallation process, and it's letting me know that it's complete. So I can hit close, and you can see that OBS is now gone uh, from the list. So that's the first way in which you can remove um, programs and features from your computer or applications from your computer. We're gonna go into the next way that you can do it and that is um, I think a lot more common and that's from the apps, the installed apps screen. And so the way to get here, I think the easiest way for you to get here um, is because it's in the settings menu. So you could go through settings, which would be like Windows I, right? You could do Windows I and that'll pull up your settings. Um, which is probably the easiest way, right? And I'll put that up on screen, Windows I. And so you can do Windows I, go into settings, go through apps. The other way would be down on the bottom of your screen, on the, on the taskbar, everybody has that Windows symbol. Put that on screen too. You can right click, not left click, right click on that Windows symbol and the top option in that menu is gonna be installed apps or um, apps and features. So you can just click on that and get to this screen. Now, once you're inside this screen, you can see it kind of looks like the other one. It shows all the different apps and features that are on your computer and you can uninstall things from here. So we'll use HP Smart for example in this one because I'm no longer using that either. I got an Epson printer now. So I'm gonna uninstall HP Smart and there it goes, bye bye. Just as easy. Um, I do think doing it through the control panel is better because a lot of times when you pull them from this screen from the programs and features, or the uh, yeah programs and apps out of the settings, Sometimes it doesn't always get all the folders associated with it. So I do recommend pulling things out of control panel most of the time. But uh, just go through that list. Don't be afraid. You, most of the things in there are going to be things that you can remove without harming your system. So you can go in there. You can look for what you're not using anymore. Some of the Microsoft Corporation ones you might want to think about just leaving alone because obviously those are from Microsoft. They could be uh, useful for something that you're using and you don't realize it. Um, but for the most part, you could go in there and look for things that you remember installing that you're no longer using or things that you didn't want on the computer that you don't recognize, kind of like adware. And if you're not sure what you're looking at or what the app is or program is, you can always do a search on Google online and find out what it is so that you can be safe and sure of what you're uninstalling. Hope this uh, helps out for anybody who wanted to know how to do this. And as always, like, share, follow. Join us on the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Hope everyone enjoyed it and that uh, you're able to use this on your computer at home. I think you'd have a great day.